Okay, so we're going to end the day talking about how we control the government. We've been talking about markets and media, and now the most important control of all to maintaining the stability of our society and our pyramid is the government. So there's an illusion that the government changes every four years, and that would be incredibly inconvenient and very destabilizing, especially considering that that's not the case in other countries. So really what's happening is just some of the players are changing. And one way to look at it is think of professional wrestling. You've got the audience, and you've got the players, and you have a show that we put on. Shows put on by the orchestrators, and the orchestrators, who are the promoters and the managers, really remain the same throughout. And the, the techniques that we use to control the government are, are, are quite simple, and some of them are pretty obvious. And, and the remarkable thing is there's so many distractions in our culture that people just can't believe that these are actually happening. For example, gerrymandering is is, is clearly something that is manipulative. Um, campaign money being coming in from big corporate interest clearly is, is biasing our politicians. And we all know this. Uh, spin and, and yes men and so on. And these are tactics that it's quite remarkable are very, very effective. But there's other tactics that are more subtle that we use to really get in very deeply at people and control things. And one is a tactic that generals have been using in war for thousands of years, and that's the decoy. And the idea behind a good decoy is something that is highly charged. That means you can easily recruit people into it. It's complex, but it's easy to dumb down the sides so people can then have an us and them strategy. You can take the moral high ground so anybody who argues against it or saying that you're using it as a decoy is immediately going to be shot down. Great fodder for the media. It has a long shelf life. It's subject to the circle jerk. Sometimes people think this way and the pendulum swings back and forth and it just never ends. Over and over again, consuming resources and mind share. And attracts large groups of swing voters. So it's not that some of these issues aren't important that the decoys use. It's that there are other more pressing issues that aren't subject to matters of opinion and things that really belong at a state or local level, but we really bring them up to federal level so that we can decoy people so they don't focus on things that we really try to achieve that we don't want them to know about. So what are some political decoys? Abortion. Very long shelf life. How could you not care about children? Capital punishment was big in the 70s. Evolution versus intelligent design also has a very long shelf life. Politicians, presidents, when they come into office, use decoys to show that they're making progress. For example, George H. Bush used flag burning. Who cares about flag burning? But it was a great way to make it look like he was doing something, like he was a strong American. Bill Clinton, gays in the military. Again, a, a strong decoy. He looks like he's doing something. In this case, I think he actually believed that he was doing something. And then George Bush. In order to get him reelected, we had to make gay marriage an issue. Otherwise, we never would have gotten him elected. And then also, terrorism is an ongoing decoy that makes people afraid, and fear is a very, very useful tactic. So what are some tactics for decoys? First of all, politicians know this is happening. But it's impossible to neutralize this, because again, the decoys are on the, higher, the moral high road. Either you use a decoy or you totally avoid it. Don't speak out against it. It's too difficult. And it's actually quite easy for you to believe that you believe. Of course I care about abortion. Of course I care about capital punishment. The issue of whether or not there's other more important pressing issues, again, in the public sphere, it's too complicated. People shoot you down if you say anything bad about it. And remember, decoys originate naturally. So when we, when we wanted to make gay marriage an issue, we didn't really have to do all that much to make it an issue. There were plenty of people out there already that just needed a little push, a little funding. Another interesting tactic is and again, this works quite naturally, is that most politicians, they don't really care about the issue, and we know that. But the fact that they don't care about the issue keeps it adversarial. And the beauty of an adversarial situation is they never compromise. They dig their feet in the ground. They don't try to understand the other person because they don't care. And the great thing is it extends the shelf life because the two parties are always at odds with each other. And it makes the decoy last for a long time. 